did not uh, beneficial and did not look good for Caleb Plant. Hey, Teofimo was supposed to fight on October 4th. I have no clue. That's my birthday, so I was excited. But I feel like the word is now utter exhaustion rather than wondery because I was so excited about this pay-per-view. And now I just want Teofimo's career and George Cambosis to get paid and them to get that opportunity. This has gone on so long that me, the, the hardcore boxing guy with a microphone in my basement, is a little tired. Where are you at, Keith? Yeah, it's exhausting, I guess, from a professional standpoint to continue writing about date changes because we've done it now so many times and we're on the sixth date for this fight. Um, I don't know how anyone would have any confidence that we won't have a seventh date because it's, it's just been so silly here what, what's happened over the last few months. But uh, as I've been led to believe, without question, barring anyone getting injured or sick, the fight will happen October 16th at Barclays Center, which is, again, the sixth date for this fight. Uh, there's a lot of money at Tifimo Lopez and George Cambosis. Both were paid more money than what was already an enormous sum of money for this type of fight uh, to agree to this uh, yet another date change. Um, the Madison Square Garden was paid a healthy sum of money to allow the fight to move from the garden to its rival venue, the Barclays Center across town there in Brooklyn. Um, so it's costing Triller a lot of money to put on this fight. Um, they, they're going to put it together with some sort of Triller versus music battle, uh, which is supposedly is the reason why it could not be at Madison Square Garden on October 16th, because they needed uh, more space than they have in the Hulu theater for all the equipment and all this. Uh, Uh, music, uh, I was told, in the theater to Darius Garden to the Barclays Center, which makes sense from Lopez's perspective to some extent. Although he's lived in a lot of places, he's lived in Florida, he's lived in Las Vegas, he's lived in Arkansas, he considers himself a Brooklyn native, so it's sort of a hometown fight for Tiafimo Lopez. But ultimately, Luke, to answer your question, as I'm sure you feel, you know, let's just get this fight over with already. I mean, it's enough is enough. And, and I think fans are fatigued by it. You know, reporters are fatigued, everyone involved. Most notably the fighters who've had to postpone their training camps multiple times. Uh, they get the fight over with already. And hopefully that will happen October 16th. Large training expenses for these fighters. They're having to take on heavy financial burdens without the checks. Also, I think about, do you view Triller as having being a steward of the sport of boxing and more so to unpack that question. Do you see Triller around in the next year or two in boxing? I don't know. I think uh, this in particular uh, may determine how they proceed in boxing because they obviously overbid for the fight. I mean, the, the winning purse bid was over $6 million. This is more of a $3 million fight maybe. So they overpaid for the right to uh, promote it. I think it would depend on how it does on pay-per-view. They're selling it for roughly $50 on pay-per-view. I don't expect to do all that well. Uh, um, I'd say somewhere between 50 and 100 because Tiafimo Cambosis is undefeated. Uh, he's not well known in the United States. And although a lot of these postponements and the, and the rivalry between the two fighters that's developed has drummed up some interest I don't think it's enough to push them over that 100,000 threshold, particularly in today's environment, Luke, where you know, you know, so many people are pirating these events and, and, and not paying for it. I don't know how you spend dollars in purses and maybe now closer to $7 million based on paying them more to move the data again, how that makes any economic sense in terms of what return you're going to get on your investment. Well, I think from a business standpoint, we have a lot of sports that are entertaining. So you have to really provide a very entertaining product to compete with great college football games, great NFL games. There's a lot of entertainment in the sports spectrum. And I think that right now the problem is boxing is giving us fairly good entertaining, but it's not college football Saturday night entertaining. So... Um, how do you see this Tyson Fury Wilder three? Um, just what's what's your plot summary going into fight week since you're going to be working? What's up, everybody? It's your good friend, Lukey, and I appreciate you watching this video. Now, 
If you enjoyed this video, be sure to subscribe to the channel, leave a comment with suggestions, which is the reason you're seeing this video. And also, if this is just a single video and you're saying, where's the full interview? Look at the upper left-hand corner and you can find the full interview or check in our video section. We're rapidly trying to improve this channel and it takes support from not just myself, but also people that enjoy the channel to keep me motivated and try to give you the best boxing content. Be sure to go to itrboxing.com for all of your boxing needs. This is Luke.